Texas State Representative Ina Minhadis from House District 124. Every 15 minutes, one infant is born in the U.S. experiencing withdrawal from drug exposure in the womb, a condition called neonatal abstinence syndrome. A third of all cases of neonatal abstinence syndrome in Texas occur in Bear County, where I represent. This is why I sponsored House Bill 405 last legislative session to gain community support for the 300 to 400 families in our community personally impacted every year. The passing of this legislation made June the statewide Neonatal Abstinence Syndrome Awareness Month in Texas. Among women who experience barriers to health and wellness, no one faces more obstacles than pregnant and parenting women who are living with substance use disorders. Women from racial and ethnic minority groups and those living in low socioeconomic communities are even further marginalized, creating additional barriers to restoration of their health and wellness. Facing multiple and interconnected sources of stigma, discrimination, and trauma, establishing a pathway to recovery is vital for preventing the intergenerational impact on these families. The potential for recovery depends not only on access to evidence-based care, but physical, emotional, and economic empowerment. Addiction is a disease, not a moral failing that impacts the entire family. Since families are the core of communities, their preservation through access to supportive and unbiased service services is critical. These services should include housing first, education, and gainful employment that allows families to become self-sustaining. In closing, I'd like to personally welcome all of you to the 2021 Texas NAS Symposium, which is financially supported by the Texas HHSC and hosted by UT Health San Antonio's School of Nursing. Through this event, you will have access to free live and recorded presentations given by experts in the field. Most importantly, I encourage you to attend the keynote event, Journeys of Hope, Mothers Thriving with Their Children in Recovery where you will hear the stories of three mothers who have been personally impacted by addiction and NAS. Time will also be provided for you to interact live and ask questions. Thank you once again to Dr. Cleveland and her team at the School of Nursing for hosting the annual statewide neonatal abstinence syndrome symposium.